Hello, beautiful people. My name is Angela, and I'm from British Columbia, Canada. You're watching Trucker Josh and the Diesel Weasel. Well, everybody, it's back to work for me. I've got replacement equipment from that equipment that I had to borrow out there. And we got our load all tied down from last week still, so all we gotta do is hook up, roll up the landing gear, and give her. Check the tires, light the fire. Well, maybe not light the fires, just check the tires. How about that? Everything's all ready to go. So, from here, we're gonna be going to uh, Wisconsin after we're done unloading this stuff in Wisconsin. We're going down to Milwaukee area, picking up the boom truck. And picking up a second piece in uh, West St. Paul. Not West St. Paul. That's Manitoba. In St. Paul, Minnesota. Minnesota. Minneapolis. You know what I'm mean. Minneapolis there. Pick up another piece and come back home. So this will just be a short trip, a couple of days. It's Monday right now. We should be back Wednesday or Thursday. Got to figure out where I'm going and Punch the coordinates into Mandy here, see if she wants to do her job and lead me to where I got to be. Oh, we're going to Sparta, Wisconsin. <laughs> Hope they'll let me in. I've watched their movie. I was just thinking, I was, I was re-watching that post I posted on my Facebook pages and stuff about the uh, reunion, right? I haven't posted it on YouTube yet, but you've already seen it because it's getting posted later, right? Uh, I should have brought my Geesebrecht flag to the Geesebrecht reunion. Why didn't I think of that? That would have been so appropriate. Oh well. Thoughts that go through my head after the fact, right? Because we're going to Sparta. Diesel, have you watched their movie? They're pretty awesome if they like you. Pretty scary if they don't like you. Um, please call 24 hours prior to delivery. Well. Isn't it a holiday down there? I'll give you a call, but I think you're on holiday. I'll give you a call. Okay, where are we going? Okay, we gotta punch this in here. Punch this in. We're going to... Uh, first of all, we gotta say we're going to United States. And we're going to Wisconsin. And we're going to... Sparta. Punch the address in here. Da, 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 da. Oh, there it is. Okay. Lead me, Mandy. Be my guide. Light my path. Don't lead me down dark paths, tell you what. I'll throw you out the window. I'm not kidding, I'll replace you. I'm not kidding, I'm gonna do it one of these days. One of these days I gotta get the new and improved version, you know? Don't tell her that though, she'd get mad. I'll end up in Wyoming all of a sudden. I got everything I need. Why do I feel like I'm forgetting something? Pre-trip is done. All the e-log stuff is done. I'm able to move. Please drive to route. Why are you so quiet, Mandy? Can't hear you, Mandy. Speak up. Oh, what's going on here? Volume. Well, why? No, your volume's on 60. What? Why are you so quiet? Yeah, I'm gonna replace her. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go and do it. I'm gonna replace her. I'm gonna throw you out the window, Mandy. I don't know what you're thinking. I don't know what you're thinking. You're not plugged in, maybe? Oh, you're plugged in. Oh, there we go. She wasn't plugged in. Come on, Mandy. Plug yourself in. It's 2019. I gotta do everything for you. You're supposed to be a strong, independent woman. Anyways. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, so I gotta get my fuel data reset here so that it just calculates today. My tripometer. See how far we're gonna drive today. We've got, according to Mandy here, if she's not lying to me, 1,011 kilometers to go. Diesel, are you gonna nap? Okay, you're napping now, you're gonna take over later, right? Because I need a nap too. All right, well, you guard all my stuff. I just threw all my stuff in the back there. I gotta organize it all yet. But right now, let's just get on the road. Let's get moving. I'm just sitting here like, thinking I forgot something. I'm just wasting time. Why are these dirty? No! 
I finally convinced myself it's time to go and then I got dirty sunglasses. That's not good. That's not going to do. Okay. I need a coffee. Have I had a coffee? Yes, I've had coffee. I've had coffee. I need another one soon though. Off we go. Click me into driving. Are you going to click me in? There you go. Okay, good. Sometimes this thing needs to be rebooted because it doesn't want to click me into driving, which is fantastic for me, right? But eventually I'd get caught and people would be like, wow, how did you get here without your e-log telling you that you're driving? I don't know. Teleportation, man. It's 2019. Anything's possible. Use your imagination. You think it's real? <laughs> Guess what? It's real. It's 2019. It is the current year. Reality does not matter. What is up is now is now down. And what was down is now up. What is what was right is now left. It is the current year. Whenever someone asks you, like, how is that possible? You don't even have to answer them. You just say, it's the current year. It doesn't matter if your answer doesn't make sense or if you don't have an answer. It's the current year. Right? I mean, it works for Mr. Fancy Socks out in Ottawa over there, so... Good enough answer for him, it's a good enough answer for me. How did you get here without your e-log ticking you into driving? It's the current year, sir. Should get me out of trouble, right? I've been yapping for long enough. Mandy, I tried to warn you. Tried to warn you. Kept telling you. I'm gonna throw you out the window. I'm gonna go get a new one if, if you don't listen, if you don't stop leading me down dark paths. So I finally did it. Got the newer, slimmer, more attractive model. Thing is huge. <laughs> Thanks to Dustin down in Texas for sending this GPS to me all the way from down there. Uh, I don't know what to do with it. It's so big. I put it up there because uh, anywhere that I'd put it down here, it blocked my view of where I was going. So I put it up there. Uh, I just don't like it there because it could fall from there, you know? I don't want it to fall and break. So I'm probably gonna find a spot for it down here on the dash yet. And right now I'm using both GPSs just to uh, break myself into the new GPS so that I don't, you know, get lost or anything. I'm giving Mandy one last hurrah. So, everybody, meet Karen. Mandy's replacement. Mandy and I are getting divorced. Got a new, bigger, slimmer, newer model. Boy, she looked nice. I hope Britt will be okay with this. I think she'll be excited for me. As long as I'm happy, right? <laughs> but yeah, that's Karen up there. So far, Karen's been doing all right. She's got a little bit of connection issues. Uh, there's a smart mount behind her there that uh, connects to her audio and her smart speaker. And sometimes that uh, audio isn't exactly the best. It doesn't always connect. So uh, we'll, we'll worry about that later. But so far she's doing all right. I mean, she she can do things that Mandy just couldn't, man. I'll tell you what. She's got all kinds of new tricks up her sleeve. I don't even know how to use use the, all of her features yet, but it's gonna be fun. So it's it's about time. Me and Mandy have been together for uh, oh close to ten years now. You know, and sometimes you just need to move on. So I'm really excited. This is a Rand McNally truck GPS. I'm really excited to uh, have it in here, and uh, excited to welcome Karen to our lives. Mandy, this is your last trip. You better enjoy it. Told you. Told you. You kept leading me down the wrong paths. She never took me seriously. You believe me now? I'm a little nervous with that big screen up there. I mean, it's really light. It's really slim, sleek, and light. So, I don't think it'll fall. And that suction cup that's on the windshield is... 
best suction cup I've ever seen in my life. So I don't think it's gonna fall. I just, like when the window gets cold in wintertime, I don't know if that thing's gonna fall down or not. I really don't want that. I hate to see that screen get broke. We're just uh, tearing up the interstates of Minnesota here. Just got into Minnesota from North Dakota. We got a long way to go yet. We got 650 kilometers to go yet. Pretty intense. But I'm liking this new GPS though. And wow, you can't get lost with a screen that big. Jeez. It's like we're gonna get along all right, Karen. She's got a lot more bells and whistles than Mandy did. Don't tell Mandy. Well, I caved. I was too scared of that thing falling down, so I pulled over and moved it down there. This way, if it does pop off the windshield there, it's just got a much shorter distance to fall and it won't like slam onto the dashboard like it would there. And here it's not blocking my view of the road at all. It's off to the side. That suction cup still isn't suction to the window uh, where the wipers go over because I know in some states you know if the wipers go over the suction cup that's uh, apparently illegal. I think in California, of course it's California, that's where all the weird laws are, right? So we should be good to go with it there. Kind of like it there a little better anyways. Less movement for my eyes. Here I can just hold my head straight, watch this guy pass me, and just my eyes can just dart down to the GPS every now and then to see if I'm like how far it is to my next turn. Whereas when it was up there, I'd have to like move my head a lot more. It's like not a big difference, but this is a little better. So uh, once we get completely comfortable with Karen, uh, we'll say goodbye to Mandy, and then uh, I guess my satellite radio will go there or something. I've got to get my radio fixed in this truck though because uh, on the Volvos, uh, if your battery dies, you got to enter a code to unlock your radio because your your radio thinks someone tried to steal it, and you got to enter the code. But I don't have the code, so I have to take the radio out of the dashboard to uh, retrieve the serial number that's on top of the radio. But to do that, you need a very special tool from Volvo to remove the radio so that you can get the special serial number so that you can call Volvo and get them to turn your radio back on. How dumb is that? What a dumb setup. What a dumb idea. So as soon as I can, I'm gonna replace this radio in here with an actual like aftermarket nice radio. Just cause that's dumb. I haven't had radio in here for like a month because I've called Volvo and they're like, oh, you need the serial number. You need to take the radio out of the dash and get us the serial number and we'll give you the code. I'm like, well, how do I get the radio out of the dash? Like, well, you're gonna need to visit a Volvo dealership and get a very special tool. And let me guess, I'm gonna have to pay for that tool. And I bet you it's way overpriced because only Volvo makes it, right? Yes, sir. Okay then, guess we're going quiet riding. That's what I call it, quiet riding. Silently slipping through the night. No radio, no music. Could make a man go crazy after a while. I like the silence, but not all the time. Whoa, that's a deer, that's a deer. Okay, that's a deer, let's warn people behind us. All right. I think he already saw it. Okay. Get the blood pumping. I've got you stuck on my head right now, so you're seeing what I'm seeing. Did you see that deer? That was intense. I'm not gonna go too much further. I think I'm just gonna go up to Sock Center, Minnesota here and pull in for the night. I'm getting tired already and I wanna have a good schedule. I don't wanna drive till four in the morning. Get up at two in the afternoon. That's silly. Too hot to sleep during the day. Here into in 300 meters. Make a U-turn if possible. Karen, let's not start this relationship off on the wrong foot. What kind of voice was that? That sounded very manly. I mean, I don't want to judge. I know it's the current year, but we're gonna have to take a look at that and see if we can. We're gonna, have to, we're gonna have to have a conversation, that's what I'm trying to say. 
interrupting me already. So we're gonna find a spot in the back here. And, uh, oh geez, it's full. Wow. Looks like we're going all the way to the back. Wait, is that parking lot over there too, to the right? Looks like it to me. I'm giving her, I'm gonna go for it. I'm just gonna send it. Can you guys even see what I'm talking about? I'll talk to you when I park. Come on, Diesel, it's time for bed. Let's go in the bed. Time for bed, buddy. Go on up there. Good boy. Got it all set up. It smells like fresh laundry. Yeah, we'll take this off for night because you don't need that for the night. There you go. I'm gonna say good night to everybody. End of a long day again. Just got a video uploaded, so that's good. Just finishing processing. I'll get that released to you. And uh, tomorrow we're gonna have to find time to edit a few videos, okay? We are far, far behind again. Thanks for watching today, everybody. Finally got a new GPS. I think she looks all right over there. We'll see how it does. It's still a little confusing. I'm still learning how to use it properly, but. Big thank you to Dustin again in Texas. Thank you so much. That's uh, a big blessing and right when I needed it too. That was actually exactly the one I was looking for and uh, he had no more use for it. So it'll be put to good use in here. Believe me, there are many fights me and Karen are going to have, I'm sure. And also she's better than Mandy. I mean, she's the new improved version. Maybe she'll be a little bit. Maybe we, maybe we will live in perfect harmony. Maybe there won't be any more fights. Kind of nice. Less stress in this truck. No more fighting. Mandy, oh boy, we fight every day. Always trying to tell me to go the wrong way. I guess we'll see what happens. Thanks again for watching everybody. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the videos, don't forget to share the videos. It goes a long way to help me. Talk to you tomorrow. Hi guys, my name is Victor. I live in 50 kilometers of Paris in France and you're now watching Crocker Josh and his best friend Diesel on YouTube. <laughs>